After spending three amazing nights in Cartagena, it was time to break apart. Due to mudslides on the road to Medellin caused by the storm, I was forced to continue my journey by plane. The flight to Medellin took around an hour and 10 minutes. Yo te llamo Medellin. Uh, as long as you have your chin diver, you're fine. I've been manifesting visiting the city for a long, long time. My first troll was downtown Medellin, AKA the Central, which means the center. The downtown area has a somewhat negative image because of its past, but it's absolutely worth visiting, especially Plaza Botero. To Plaza do Botero. So the artist here decided to make everything back. <laughs> Plaza Botero is located in the old quarter of Medellin, close to Barque Perreo Metro Station in the center of the city. Big fat man with a pointy penis. Look at that. Come on, man. You could do better than that. Even if you've never heard of Fernando Botero, a stroll through the Plaza Botero will almost certainly make you a fan. The park is home to nearly two dozen sculptures, including voluptuous ladies, fat cat, and a chubby man on top of a chunkier man trying to fix his back pain. No, no. Two decades ago, no tourists could walk around this park. But today, it's becoming a very popular touristic destination. El Gato. Oh. Hey, what you doing, man? Fucking at the... Hey, bro. Fuck it, fuck it. He was sucking out that penis. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. 25 years ago, Medellin was the most dangerous city on earth, and no tourist would ever dare to walk around the city. Today, Medellin has completely transformed, and tourists could walk freely almost everywhere. But you have to be careful. There are plenty of thieves and bankers. People from poorer neighborhoods up in the hills descend into downtown to work on one of the shops or sell fruits or cigarettes. El Centro is also saturated with privagados, which literally translates to prepaid, but actually it refers to women in the streets who will have sex for money. Pribagados is a big thing in Medellin. They even rifle the woman working out of official and established spots. I must admit, El Centro is not the prettiest or safest place in Colombia, but it's very interesting, vibrant, and exotic, and definitely deserve a visit.